Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to briefly cover the difference between two economic goods known as normal goods and inferior goods, as well as provide examples of each type of good, so you can see how these two terms are reflected in the real world. With that said, let's get right into it. Very early on in your studies of economics, you will learn about normal goods and inferior goods, as well as how income impacts consumer demand for each of these two different types of products. Today, we're going to explain each good and review some examples of each. Inferior goods are the types of products people typically purchase when their income is low. They generally represent the cheapest options for meeting a consumer's needs, so they're satisfactory options for consumers who don't have a lot of money. These products are typically the lowest quality products available, purchased only out of economic necessity as you cannot afford more expensive options at this particular moment in time. Consumers who consistently maintain a low income level tend to purchase inferior goods most of, if not all of the time. When people who ordinarily make more money experience a loss of income due to the COVID-19 pandemic, for example, they would shift towards purchasing inferior goods out of necessity until their income rises back to its original pre-pandemic amount. It is important to note that demand for inferior goods has an inverse relationship with income. What this means is that as income decreases, demand for inferior goods increases. Think of it this way. When your money is tight or hard to come by, consumers seek the cheapest products available and those are inferior goods. Alternatively, the reverse is also true. As income increases, demand for inferior goods decreases. As a consumer's access to money increases, they seek the more desirable, expensive alternatives to inferior goods. But what about normal goods? When a person's income rises, that individual typically stops buying inferior goods and will switch to buying normal goods. These items cost more than inferior goods and typically are of higher quality. When consumers have enough money to purchase normal goods, they will choose these items over inferior goods as consumers strictly prefer normal goods. When faced with choosing between normal goods versus inferior goods, those with enough income will opt to buy the normal good and only buy the inferior good if they become financially strained. When individuals who typically have a low income receive extra money, such as a raise, a bonus, government stimulus check, etc., they may treat themselves by purchasing normal goods as opposed to the inferior goods that they're used to purchasing. Demand for normal goods tend to have a direct relation with income as well. Demand for normal goods increase as income increases. However, if a consumer's income decreases due to a job loss or inability to work, for example, then the person's demand for normal goods will also go down. They will seek inferior goods instead as they are now the only affordable good. Here are a couple of side-by-side -side examples of goods so you can see which one is the normal good and which one is the inferior good in the same category. Brand name cereal is typically a normal good while Walmart's great value brand cereal is typically an inferior good. Starbucks coffee is typically a normal good, while gas station or convenience store coffee is typically an inferior good. And lastly, Nike running shoes are typically a normal good, while some off-brand running shoes are typically an inferior good. Are you beginning to see the difference between the two? Now it's important to note that not all goods are normal goods or inferior goods. Some are items that people tend to purchase regardless of their financial situation, known as Giffen goods, while others are luxury items purchased only by those who have a very high income, known as luxury goods. We plan to make a video covering each of these types of goods in more detail in the future, so definitely be on the lookout for that one if it's something that you think will interest you. So there you have it. Now you know the difference between normal goods and inferior goods. If you like the video and are excited to see more, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and comment what sort of economic topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next. Thank you.